not for Burnley just, but against Liverpool. I mean, Gini Wijnaldum was asked there, do you think it's a decisive moment? Do you think it is in, in this season? Well, yeah, you'd have to believe it is because they've lost. I mean, admittedly, if Liverpool would have drew the game nil-nil, it still would have been a disastrous night. One point instead of three, fallen behind the pace setters. They're now in fourth. Everton can take over them. You know, the four points behind City and City have got a game in hand. And on top of that, They've got Tottenham away, which is going to be extremely difficult. They've got West Ham away. This is before, this is after, sorry, the FA Cup game. They've got West Ham away and then they've got Manchester City at home. So the, the way they're playing at the moment suggests that they could drop even more points. And as I said before, you don't, I don't want to think that Manchester City will roll over West Bromwich Albion and Sheffield, Sheffield United, but you'd expect them to win the form that they're in. So the, that's six, seven, seven points with the game in hand. Could be ten by the time they play them. And that is too much to Manchester City, the way they're playing at the minute. Yeah, they're in real danger of, of, of losing sight, aren't they? Yeah, I said, I uh, looked at that Liverpool, uh, Liverpool against Tottenham game and it was a crucial game for Tottenham because they can't lose any more ground. It's a crucial game for Liverpool, I would suggest now. You know, if Tottenham were to beat them, you know, they drop more points. And there's a good chance, hey, if they play like that, yeah. Tottenham will beat them. That's the point, the way they're playing. The way they're yeah. playing and the way the opposition are playing. Yeah. That is that's the way the opposition play are playing is the, is the way Tottenham play. Less possession, sit back, no Liverpool's weaknesses, yeah. hit them on the counter attack. They've been found out a little bit. With now, better players, with better well. players than that, and with better players than the West Bromwich Albion's, with better players than the teams that Liverpool have failed to beat. So that's why you think Liverpool could be in trouble against the Tottenham. Liverpool will have more possession, even even away from home. But Tottenham will be more decisive than Fulham are on the counter-attack, more decisive than other teams have been on the counter-attack, and more dangerous. They're just not creating the chances, are they? I mean, the 27 attempts on goal, six on target. But was there ever a chance when, when I felt, apart from the Deebok Origi one, which is a great... I mean, the 27 attempts on goal, six on target. But was there ever a chance when, when I felt, apart from the Deebok Origi one, which is a great chance. It's a great chance. Let's yeah. not get, come away from it. If they score and they go ahead, there's no plan B for Burnley and they will go on, they'll win the game quite comfortably. And then we're talking in very glowing terms about them again, saying they've turned the corner. It's too simple to say if Mo Salah plays, he scores that. Oh, well, I think he does. I think he does. It's an easy chance. He's going clean yeah. through. He's got a lot of time to think about it, but he has to score there. Pope backpedaling. He has no idea where he is. He could have stuck it to the left. He could have stuck it to the right. It is a poor miss. That is why he will not play at Liverpool Football Club next season. They have to get rid of him. They need players with better quality. they got Yota. We know he's there. But when you get handed this on a plate, just before halftime, Ben Mee makes a rick. It's a poor error there from Ben Mee, but he's got too much time, in my opinion, to think about that. I think he's a good finisher when it's instinctive. But as he's bearing down the goalkeeper there, if you look at Pope, he's backpedalling and he has no idea where his goal is. He hasn't got a clue. You can see the penalty spot in front of him. He's standing in the middle. You can roll that on the floor either side. That is a guilt. This is the chance. angle, Tim, isn't it? You see goalkeeper's running back. He wants to get centre. He wants to see the penalty spot. But that angle, you know, to open your body up, of course, it's giving yourself the opportunity to gather the most space. Mm. And regardless of whether it takes a bobble or not, it should just be round the bottom of the goal. If it takes a bobble, it's going in this high. You can't be aiming up there. So how big a moment in the night it's, is it's that? Ma then? It's massive. It's all, it's, these teams who play like that, it's all about breaking them down. Once you break them down, I know you've got the West Brom, but once you break them down, then you feel as if the team have to come out sooner rather than later. Then you can hit them again. But today, it was just, you know, it was a massive moment, wasn't it? Because they weren't playing well in the first half. The tempo was slow. The energy levels were slow. And the, the, the fringe players who've come in, they was the opportunity to really stake mm. a claim. We'll show you how to win a game. We'll show you how yeah. to score goals. We'll show you how to drive forward. And all of them came to nothing. Other than that, that you know, Macca, can you think of a chance where they created where you think, well, they should have scored really, Not there. really. You know, the, the Firmino one, as I said, that just cannons off. Came to nothing. Other than that, you know, Macca, can you think of a chance where they create where you think, well, they should have scored re Not there. really. You know, the, the Firmino one, as I said, that just cannons off Ben Mee, but not defensively. Mm. There was just too many crosses, but crosses from the same angle, which, suit, which suits the Burnley defenders. Sometimes you have to get to the byline and pull mm. balls back, so it you know, causes the defenders problems. Sometimes you have to try and take people on. But there was none of that no. today. It was just the same old cutting on your left foot, cutting on the left foot cross from you know, the wrong type of angles. And that was disappointed me. Since Liverpool scored seven against Crystal Palace, they've scored one league goal. Truly remarkable. Right, Liverpool fans, here's the views of your manager, Jurgen Klopp. Well, Jurgen, a long time since you had this feeling at Anfield. 
in the Premier League. In your view, what happened tonight? Oh, we lost the game, which I think is pretty... It's actually impossible to lose, but we did it. Um, and that's my fault. So, um, because my job is to, to make sure that the boys feel the right, have the right feelings, like the, the, the right amount of confidence, um, they, they make the right decisions, all these kind of things. And um, that obviously didn't work out for tonight because we had the ball a lot. We created some situations that's all, that's all okay. Um, but in the final moment, obviously, our decision making is not right in the moment. That's that's the problem. So you have the ball in the right place, then you don't shoot, then you pass. We had a, we, I'm pretty sure I said the same thing last week. Um, and the problem is something doesn't work. You have to, to try harder, longer, um, more often. And so again and again and um, and make better decisions. So um, but it's it obviously didn't work out tonight. And um, that's what we have to admit and nothing to say about and that's why we lost the game I know the buck always stops with the manager but why do you feel particularly tonight is your fault it's always my fault the, the, the things that don't work are my fault the, the things that work are the players it's credit to the players because that's what they make of it it's um, if we if we have a situation so I that's how we work that long together now if if we, um, if we if we have a situation so I, that's how we work that long together now. If, if we, I make clear um, how, which movements make, make absolutely sense, because it will um, hurt the opponent, um, and we don't do them, then I have to make it clearer. That's how it is. Um, that's how it is. How you, how you come in behind the last line and all these kind of things, that's the job we have to do. It's not only me. It's, it's, it's how, you, how you come in behind the last line and all these kind of things, that's the job we have to do. It's not only me, it's, it's, it's all for all managers the same, but that's the reason. So the players not doing those movements, not carrying out those instructions, is that belief, do you think? No, 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 it's not that they don't want. They obviously, that, that's, that, they, that's, it's really, again, it's really difficult to play against this kind of low block, but we did it already. For, for playing against a low block, it makes helps a lot if you score one goal and um, we could have scored that in the first half we could have scored it in the second half we could have scored it in plenty of moments um, and we didn't so and that changed then for the opponent everything because Burnley didn't come here to, to lose 1-0 um, and um, it then maybe they open up a little bit more stuff like this and that, that changed games but for this you have to score it's not about you will not cannot make sure before the game you score four or five times you have to score the first one and we obviously don't score the first one and that makes then the things difficult because after scoring not that much for a long time it's not that everybody feels like incredibly confident in these moments and that's something we have to we have to work on it's one goal in nearly 90 shots or almost 90 shots now since palace is that like for you even knowing the players as well as you like almost an, an inexplicable start for teams usually so free scoring i never thought about us like the free scoring side or unit i always knew we have to work really hard for it. we have to do a lot of things right to become in these positions yes and then you have moments when a player takes one touch and the next one is in a far ankle or whatever far corner, and that these kind of things but that doesn't work that doesn't happen in the moment it's not the first time that it happened in football it will not be the last time the good thing is um, we, we can change it we just have to work on it and um, for tonight we cannot on that game we cannot work anymore we just can use it for the next one is it also true that you're not creating the quality of chances at the moment that you would normally but that's not that's, that these things that that's all true that's all true but it's not that we don't create the chances because the players have not the ability to do so it's because in, in our decision making is the problem but that's a, that's always the problem the decision making a good footballer the difference between very very good footballer and a good footballer is decision making, making the right stuff in the right moment. So that's it. It's it's not rocket science. It's not that we that, that there are eight players in front of the box, one around the six and one stays up front. That's how it is. That, that's we, we know that before the game. So now it's not so difficult to come in behind that line. But um, when you put take down the crosses too early and hope that somebody will you will hit ahead in the, in, the, in the box, that doesn't make sense. Second half, we had a lot of good moments with Trent, especially where it was in the right place, tried to pass the ball inside and then we are not in the right moment. And that's a feeling for, for the boys. They, they, they just wait for the cross and then they realize when the ball is on its way, oh, it's for me. And then they make that move. And that's it's not about how good you how 
incredible high your skill set is or, or bigger skill set. It's only about making this decision in that moment. And we had tonight, the, I think the two biggest were um, everybody saw. If we score in that moment, that would have would have changed a lot. Um, but we didn't, and so we left the game open and, and lost the game, which I, I have to say, I can't believe that we lost it, but it's, a, it's the truth and we have to accept that. Uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you about. What happened in the tunnel between you and Sean Dyche because you looked very animated judging on body language. Yeah, but that's, if, if he's not talking about it, I will not talk about it. So it's easy yeah. as that. I didn't start it, but it's, it's not nothing. Uh, all good. Okay. okay, we'll come to that in a moment. But some really honest and, and detailed yeah. views for the Liverpool yeah. fans there. I think he manager. normally is, isn't he? To be very honest, I don't think he, um, he tells it how it is. 